Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to start designing our campaign assets. So that's wonderful. And we are going to start with an Instagram post. Okay, this is going to be the base post because my campaign is mostly going to be based on Instagram. So for this, I'm going to tap here in the search bar and continue searching for my Black Friday theme, right? You remember we started with this. So Black Friday, I want to find some inspiration. I'm just scrolling down the templates and the uh, different results here that came up when I typed Black Friday into Canva. Uh, I'm looking for an IG post that inspires me. So let's find something interesting, kind of like these ones, like this theme. And these will also work wonderfully as a series, as an actual campaign for social media. So I could use this one probably uh, as a Facebook banner, an IG post, a Facebook post. That's all looking great. But let's start and let's focus on the first post for now, which is my Instagram post. So I'm going to tap on this template and this is what happens. Like it loads into the editor and I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go all out at this template, make it mine and uh, start creating for my campaign. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to see what's in there. I'm going to tap on this rectangle and I can see from the get go. This is a group of element and I can ungroup with this button right here done. It's now ungrouped. So these are different text boxes, which is fine. I can keep them for now, but I want to get rid of this white square. So I'm going to simply tap on it. And then with the delete button here at the bottom, just delete the, the white square. Okay, so this is good. I'm going to also get rid of some of the elements in here. So for example, this circle here, this circle right there and uh, what else? I like these, but maybe not there. So I'm going to simply reposition a few things and this is fine, guys. You can really work with your elements and make the templates your own. So it looks more like your brand, like your stuff. Okay, so this sounds good. Maybe this one will move to the other side so I have more balance. Let's keep it here for now. OK, so I'm going to work with my text. So yeah, it's Black Friday. I don't want this to say, yeah, it's Black Friday, but rather I want it to say Black Friday. Very simple. So black and I'm going to move this box to more or less the center of my design. You see Canva helps me with the guides here. Uh, so the pink lines. And I know that this is exactly at the center of my design. So another thing I can do to make sure this text is centered within the box is to tap on the box. And then here at the bottom, I will search for the format button and click here on the aligned justified to the center. Okay, this is good. Next, I'm going to duplicate this text box with the duplicate button and the text box selected. So I'll go ahead and do this. Move this slightly below the first one like so. And I'm going to tap on that box again to simply change the text here. So I can delete what's in there and just add my new text, which just says Friday, Black Friday. OK, so now this is when the magic happens and I'm going to go to my brand font that I just uploaded in my brand kit in the previous video. So for that, uh, selecting my text box, I'm going to search for the font button, the font button right here. This menu is going to pop up and let's explore this by scrolling down a little bit. So you can see the first font right here is the font that is actually being in use right now. So that is League Spartan. But if I scroll down, I see different things. I see recently used fonts. So these are fonts I've used recently and I can see my brand fonts. And these three, League Spartan, Ratnika Next and Gochi Hand are actually the three fonts I set up in my brand kit. So these are the fonts I will be using in my design. But here, as a coincidence, League Spartan is actually the one in use in this template. So I don't need to change it. But what I do want to do is to work a little bit on that text so it looks better. OK, so first I'm going to tap on done here. I will uh, go back to my font size and make this slightly bigger. I want this to be bold. I want this message to be big 
for Black Friday. Okay, so Black Friday, something like this. I want the Friday and the Black to be equally as big and I want them to kind of form a block here. So you see how uh, I want the K and the Y, the B and the F to be kind of aligned and form one block. So I'm going to try to achieve this result uh, by simply adding a little bit of space between the letters in Friday. So for this, I'm searching for the spacing button with Friday box selected, of course. So I'm going to tap on spacing and add a little bit of space between the letters. So it just matches and forms this nice line here. And I can zoom in to see what I'm doing. I see it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to reduce this. Perfect. I'm happy with this. I can zoom out. Black Friday. This is a nice base for my design. I'm going to change the color of this text by tapping on the first word and going to my colors. And again here, see what we see here? Run is colors. So the three colors I added to my brand kit. So I want this to be white. This one too. Perfect. The text box, which is here on top, I'm going to move that slightly over my black word right here. And I'm going to change this, what this text box says. Okay, this will say get extra 50% off, 50% off. Yeah, because it's Black Friday and we need to get some nice discounts to our customers so that they come and shop with us. Get extra 50% off. I'm going to make sure that this is also using my branded font. So for this, tapping on font and this time going back to my brand font right here, this should be Radnica Next. So I'm going to tap on Radnica Next and make this bigger. Okay, so font size, I'm going to go about this size, this is good. And also center this. So format need this to be aligned, justified in the middle, like this. And two more things I want to do here in the formatting, I want this to be bold. And I want this to be white as well, everything white here. Okay, this is moving forward nicely. One more thing I want to do is to add another word at the bottom of this design. Let me see not this one, I'm going to delete this box and duplicate this one. So duplicate, bring that down like so. And now I can start adding my text in here, it's just going to say sale. Okay, like this, let me zoom out by pinching my screen. And this last font right here, so tapping on the font box one last time is going to be my Gochi hand right here. Okay, and I need this to be bigger. So font size, just make this bigger. And you kind of get the hang of it now. You see how I'm working with these things, uh, the different text boxes, it's relatively easy. And I'm going to adjust this one with less spacing between my letters. So sale, great. And if I want to make sure this is centered, by keeping this text box selected, I can scroll to the right right here and find this button that says position. I'm gonna tap on position. And I want this to be centered. I'm going to do this with all of the other boxes here. I want this centered and I want this centered and I want this centered. Okay, now I know everything here is nicely centered. That's quite cool. Okay, I'm gonna click on done and uh, okay, I want to change a few things. This orange color is not part of my brand actually. So tapping on the background, tapping on the orange color, now I can have access to my brand colors. So let's make that pink. Okay, and this reveals something here that I couldn't see before. This text box here needs to go, don't need that. Okay, get extra 50% off Black Friday sale. So this is already pretty cool. Maybe what I can do is start rearranging a couple of these elements here, just by moving them around. So I'm readjusting, making space if you wish. So this is good. I'm gonna add a couple of things to make this design even better. Okay, I want to have a big black circle behind my white text. So for this, I'm going to use the plus button here. 
to add an ingredient. And that ingredient is an element. It's actually a shape. So tapping on element and I'm going to find my shapes right here. There's a whole section about shapes. And the first one is a circle. That's what I need. So bring this on, make this slightly bigger. And with this circle element still selected, making sure it is selected, I'm going to tap on position and center middle. Now I know that this is exactly at the center of my uh, Instagram post right here. Okay, done. And I will change its color for black. Okay, now we start to have this big, nice, bold contrast here. Click. I will tap on done. So what else can I see from here? I need to readjust a little bit the position of this first line of text right here. It's too low on my design. So now it looks more balanced. I like that. One thing I want to show you is how to group elements. So I'm going to group the black and the Friday. So for this, I'm going to long tap on black. You see it says one element selected. This window is showing me I've selected this one element. I'm going to tap on Friday. Now I have two elements selected. And now I'm going to group here with the group button. So just tap on that. And now you have Black Friday grouped as one element. This is super useful and it's going to help me align my elements. Now I can align this group of elements. I can position this with the position button, center and middle. So it's right in the middle of my post. See, this is really nice. Okay, make this slightly higher like this. And this one as well, a little bit up like so. I'm happy about this. I want to add two more elements and then we will finish this design. One is a big hand drawn circle around my black circle. So for this again, it's another ingredient. Every time you need to add an ingredient, Think about the plus button. There is some goodness behind this plus button. So just tap it. All right, so we need another element. Let's find elements. And I'm searching for hand-drawn circles. Hand-drawn circles. And I really like this one right here. I think it will be beautiful. This one could also work on my design. I'm going to go for this one. So let's tap on this. Canva will, of course, bring it here. Just need to make it at the dimensions that I like. Let's make this slightly bigger so I can still see some pink showing through and some black as well. So this is good. Really like that. Okay, the last thing I want to do to finish this design to make it really look cool is to add something on this sale word to make it stand out. Again, new ingredient. I tap the plus button, go for my elements. And what I'm searching for here is a brush stroke brush stroke like so. So Canva has a bunch of different strokes here, just looking for something to kind of highlight the word sales. Uh, so I could go for this one, for example, maybe a little bit too big. And I'm going to make this pink for sure and push it back. So I'm going to push this back. So it's still selected here. You see my box is selected position backwards. So it's now underneath my sale word. So all I need to do is to make sure it is correctly aligned with the word like so. And there we go. We have our IG post Black Friday, get extra 50% off. Everything looks really cool. This is really flashy. It is going to get a lot of eyeballs on IG. I can guarantee. So that's it for this one video. In the next one, we are going to see how from this design, we are going to create and generate very simply all the other creatives or visuals that we need for our campaign. When you create a campaign, you will want to have all of your visuals looking consistent across different channels in order to make a bigger impact.